We're back. Wildlife, a fish to be precise. People in Bristol may have thought their eyes were deceiving them when the city's latest tourist attraction made its way through the streets to the docks. Carried by its creator, Mike Badger, this 13 and a half foot creative sculpture is literally a load of old rubbish. Tin can lids were used to make the scales. The fish eventually found its way to St. Augustine's Reach. The reason? To launch an exhibition at the City Museum featuring other creations made from recycled material. in here rockets and robots and they've all been brilliantly crafted from things like this yeah like this your eyes did not deceive you because this wonderful collection has been created from empty cans old cheese graters and discarded metal objects in general for instance take a look at this lifelike snake it's wound around a tree trunk and if you look closely you can see that he's actually made from hundreds of empty tin cans and they've all been slotted together like a huge spring to coil around the tree and uh, this up here looks like Tintin's rocket zooming off into space which is very apt because not only is it made entirely out of tin but the band spacer inside looking out through the windows where they are back down on land meanwhile how about this unusual carousel it's got little tin cars on the outside and they're all zooming round aided by a bicycle wheel which is in there and now to the sea what about this it gives can tuna a whole new meaning imagine finding this on the end of your line it's over three meters long so it's certainly some catch it could feed your family for ages and what's brilliant is that it can actually swim too because underneath all these tin lids is an old canoe very ingenious indeed now who told me all this privileged information you're wondering well none other than the creator of these wonderful sculptures artist and musician man of many talents mike badger welcome to the studio mm. mike so tell me where do you get your inspiration from your creative juices things that i find really mm. it could be in the street or in a skip or a car boot sale or anything really um you just like, see objects. Yeah, yeah. Like I found this tap, um, and it reminded me so much of a giraffe that <laughs> I, I decided to mount it on this um, tin, and then I, it got the title "Giraffe in the Bath." Oh, so uh, this is a giraffe in a bath yeah, tub. It's it brilliant is. the way the tap has the little giraffe horns, isn't it? That's right. And you've even got the little ripples of water in yeah, the bathtub yeah. from the can lid. Excellent. What about this bus over here? Well, this is um, a bus that I made, and I. It was kind of whilst I was making it, I realised that the biscuit tin that I was making it yep. out of had all these um, sites of London oh, yeah. on it, uh, Westminster Trafalgar Abbey. Square, and yeah, Westminster Trafalgar. Abbey. Yeah. But uh, I wouldn't advise um, your viewers to open up tin cans and everything because they can be very, um, very sharp. Yeah. I've right. put myself a lot of times making oh, all this stuff. Oh no, you've but got scars of your labour though. I have. You've been making things. So yeah. can people at home try any sort of sculptures? Um, well, there's lots of other things you can um, make recycled sculptures out of. Mm. You know, there's card, paper, plastics, lots of different things. Yeah. Cereal boxes, margarine tops, Just also. use your imagination. Just like the stuff that we make on Blue Peter, really, exactly. isn't it? And it's all recycling. Well, thank you so much for bringing all your wonderful exhibits into the studio. Now then, if you want to get a close-up look at Mike's work, you're in luck if you live near Leicester, because his exhibition, Lost and Found, opens at the City Gallery on April the 1st, and it's on until May the 8th. So if you're passing, pop in. Sounds good. But first...